All right, guys, morning of day 20. Just passes uh, well, this railroad bridge. It seems to be broken. Uh, not in use anymore, anyways. It's, it's, it's closed off over there. Uh, yeah, so the plan today, I've decided, <laughs> is to go uh, 21 miles officially on the map. Uh, but there's a cutoff I'm going to take that cuts off part of the uh, part of the trail because it goes around a spit, uh, like a three or four mile spit where I can just do a mile instead. So it's going to be more like 17 or 18 miles, and that should give me an easy day into Old Town to be picked up by the trail angel Charlie. And uh, apparently he lives just down the trail like 12 miles so he's gonna pick me up I'm gonna take a shower and then the day after it's more slack more slack pack to his house and after that I might start again or might do more uh, lazy stuff but uh this is depending on how I feel this is this marks 20 straight days of uh of walking and uh it's gonna be three weeks straight when I get to his house, so I should probably take a zero sometime soon, right? <laughs> uh, but uh, that might not happen, All right? But as you can see, the foggiest day so far. Uh, can't really see. I can't even really see the the river. Maybe because I'm a little bit higher, but uh, yeah, it's, it should probably burn off in a bit. It's only about eight o'clock right now. So yeah, all right, that's, that's enough for right now. Let's get hiking. Here's a bend in the river. I'm at the apex of it. Uh, these are becoming more common, which is why I'm trying to skip the next one, because it goes east for a bit. I'm trying to go west, so yeah. That's my reason. I'm sticking to it. All right, later. All right. Yeah, I'm currently on the road. Cuts in between the bend in the river. Hopefully, there's a way to get back up. It's always interesting when you do this. Just around here, because you have to get across the canal. Sometimes it's filled with water. Sometimes it's not. So here's wishing luck. Been able to keep dry mostly. Uh, but yeah, this just cuts off maybe two miles, so oh, I think it's worth it for me, even if I'm ultimately go slower, it's easier on my feet. All right, later. Actually, the actual trail, oh, hike anyways, just a dirt road, water everywhere. There's a tunnel. Yeah, yeah, this is from that old, uh, train track that I passed earlier so it goes through apparently went through that hill but we can't go that way it's closed off all right later all right uh about eight miles out I'm at lock 62 I'll show you too there's a sign and I'm sitting on the foundation of the lock house and I'm doing that because it's the best height for sitting down um yeah so i'm gonna go i made my shortcuts and they weren't as short as i wanted them to be uh, to avoid walking in the canal but still probably cut out maybe two miles total so it's gonna be about an 18 and a half mile day which is going to be it's gonna be plenty and then tomorrow i only leave six miles to um uh, old town and the end of the um, CNO Canal, uh, and I'm getting picked up there by the train angel, and it's gonna be great. And yeah, um, feeling good right now. I'm uh, got my shoes off. I don't know if you can see my beautiful camera work. Um, yeah, it's gonna be great. 
as I uh, try to de uh, decompress my shoot my feet right now. So. It makes it feel a lot better. It's just like 10 minutes of the shoes off and starting again. Uh, that and ibuprofen, which I'm going to take too. All right. There's the Potomac back there, and uh, yeah, it's enough for right now. Let's see you guys. So apparently, this part of the canal cuts through this hill. Because uh, I guess they didn't want to, they felt like me, like they didn't want to follow the winding route of the Potomac itself. And apparently there's a tunnel up here that we go through, which I'm looking forward to. Nice little waterfall. But yeah, it's kind of impressive they made this, uh, made this canal through this, this part of the well, it's basically just rock. That's some, use some early form of dynamite to do that in the 1830s. All right, later. So there's a little jaunt on the sport walk over top of the canal. We reached the tunnel, which I did not know the canal went through a tunnel until today. <laughs> and I looked at the map. Oh, uh, this is gonna be pretty cool. Something different anyways, which is always uh, appreciated when you're on a through hike. Something different. <laughs> Wonder how far it goes. Can't see the light at the, at the end, so probably goes pretty far. Another cool waterfall, man-made. <laughs> Another one here too. Oh, I guess you can kind of see the end. Light at the end of the tunnel, so it's not that long. But uh, yeah, I'll show more when I get on the other side. It's pretty cool. Hello. Yeah. Later. <laughs> All right, I got to the end. What's well, apparently called the Paw Paw Tunnel. This is a good, at least quarter mile. So pretty long. Uh, I don't know why it was more cost effective to build this tunnel than, uh, than just go around it along the, the river, but apparently it was. Well, they did anyways. But I think it's pretty cool. I know there's more tunnels in, in Ohio, Ohio. I just didn't realize there was one in Maryland, which is pretty cool. I think there's some more in West Virginia as well. I'm looking forward to all of them. All right, later. All right, I got about a mile to go on the day. Uh, about six more miles total. Well, a little bit more than that, for the CNO in general. I'm gonna make an observation about myself. I stink, like bad. I haven't had a shower since Harper's Ferry. La laundry since JJ's. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's took a longer to build up because it's winter. I don't sweat as much, but you know, compared to when I hike during the summer. But yeah, looking forward to a uh, shower and laundry at uh, Charlie's. The trail angel is gonna pick me up tomorrow. Yeah, I need it. <laughs> um, here's a view of this. Potomac right now. The sun shining off it. Pretty cool. Canal is a swamp as usual. I guess I'm getting kind of used to this, but I know I'm going to miss it once it's gone. And it's only got a few more miles of it left. So, soaking it in while I can. Alright. Talk later when I'm done for the day. All right, later. Hello, everybody. Uh, end of day 20, March 3rd. Um, I'm at the Town Creek Campground, that's what it's called. About five miles away from Old Town, which I'll do in the morning. Then I'll take a much needed break because I've been pushing myself the last five days or so. So yeah, I'm gonna have a couple easy days. <laughs> Maybe three. 
as uh, my body uh, still protesting what I'm doing to it. So I got to listen to it a little bit. Um, almost done with the Potomac. Last night on the Potomac. And um, yeah, I think I will miss these campgrounds and the beautiful hike. Because um, I think I got a little bit of road walking ahead of me before I get to the, the B&O. And uh, I know there's some trails, especially over the, the top of the Appalachians, which is coming. I'm gonna have a few good climbs in the next week or so. Um, it'll be something different and my legs will protest and I'll probably complain, but then it's back to the, well, then I should have some downhill after that, which would be nice. Cause this is, this, you know, doing this, this way has been uphill the whole time, even though it's been barely anything. So I think it's like total of like 500, 500 and so feet over like 160 miles. It's barely anything, but it's constant though. So there's no downhill and there's no real rest. Uh, so yeah, that part of that, uh, the CNO I won't miss, but uh, everything else I will, especially like the the Port of Johns every four or five miles. Um, yeah, uh, this is civilized camping along this, so I recommend it. But yeah, um, almost done with the CEO and almost done with Maryland. I got one more day. All right, later.